Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you another updated video. Uh, this is an update to my video about how to set up themes in Home Assistant. So, you know, if you're using Home Assistant at all, that default white and blue skin or theme gets old really quick. Especially if you're trying to use it like for a touchpad or something at nighttime, that white and blue is really bright. It'd be nice to have another theme, maybe dark or something like that. Well, you can. There's a forum out on the Home Assistant uh, site that has uh, that's basically dedicated to sharing themes and people put all kinds of themes out there. This video is going to show you how to set up various themes on your uh, Home Assistant web front end and basically have a input select on the main screen where you can choose what theme you want to use. It's actually really cool. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So we're going to start by just creating a, a themes directory where we're going to put all of our themes. Once we do that, we're going to edit the configuration.yaml file uh, to point to that new themes directory. Once that's done, then we are ready to start downloading some themes. Um, after we do that, we are going to set up our input select component that we'll use to choose which theme we want. Then we'll be ready to set up an automation, which we can use for, uh, you know, making that transition between themes. And then lastly, I'll kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So again, this first step is pretty simple. All we're going to do is just basically create a themes directory. This is a folder where we're going to store all of our themes that we're going to use in Home Assistant. So in my uh, Home Assistant directory where I have all my configuration files, I'm just going to do a sudo uh, mkdir themes. All right, now let's edit our configuration.yaml file and point it to that new themes directory. So I'll do a sudo vi configuration.yaml. We're going to scroll down here where it says front end. Uh, I'm just going to add a line in here. So let's see here. We'll to space over a couple times. Themes colon. And then I'm going to put the directory that I'm pointing it to. So it's uh, include underscore dir underscore merge underscore named. And then the name of that directory, which was themes. Go ahead and save that. All right, now we're ready for the next step. All right, so let's go ahead and try to download some themes. Now I'm not going to go into super great detail. Um, again, this is the, the page I was talking about out on the forums where everybody shares their themes. Uh, of course, I'll have this link in the description as well. Uh, so you can just kind of scroll through here, pick a theme that you want. Uh, as you can see, there's all kinds of different themes in here. Find the one that you want. We're just going to copy it, and then you can paste it into a new file in that directory. So I'm not going to go into great detail on that, but I'll show you what all I've got here. So we'll do an LS, and as you can see here, I've got all kinds of themes. I've got like eight themes on here, so uh, I put all these from this site. So there's, uh, like I said, there's tons of choices here. Uh, I'm going to open one of these up and just kind of show you what that looks like. So again, you'll just find the one you want, you'll copy it, you'll paste it into this file here, and save it. That's all you got to do. Do that for whatever themes you want, and that's all you got to do. All right, now we are ready to move over uh, and set up our input select component. So of course, I'm going to do that by editing my input underscore select.yaml file. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here to the bottom and find a new spot. All right, we're just going to call this one has underscore themes. Uh, again, the name, I'm just making it has themes. Uh, 
options. This is where I'm going to list out all my different choices. So I need one selection for each theme that I have. And I'm just going to call these by the same name. So obviously I have my default theme, which is, is your skin that you normally use. Uh, then I had one called Solarized. dark underscore orange and again you can I mean you can put whatever you want in here I like to keep them kind of the same name as the name of the theme just makes it easier Let's see dark underscore red As you can see here, quite a few themes. Uh, like I said, I like to have a lot of different choices. Uh, again, you can put as many as you want. Um, you may want to start off with just a couple. It's up to you. I'm going to use the uh, MDI icon for uh, themes that they have uh, created. So you go ahead and save that. All right, now we can move on to the next step. So let's go ahead and create our automation that we're going to use for the uh, input select. So I have all my automations stored in a directory. So I'm going to edit the main uh, YAML file for my automations. And let's see here. ID, I'm going to call it has underscore theme, alias, again, it's just going to be has theme, initial state is uh, on, and that's just for the automation itself. All right, trigger is going to be uh, the input select. So we'll say platform equals state. And the uh, entity ID is input select dot has underscore theme. The action will be to change that uh, theme. So the service is front end dot set underscore theme. And now we're going to use a data template to uh, choose the various options from the input select. So here it's going to be uh, states dot input underscore select dot has underscore theme dot state. And I'll put all this in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Once we have that in there, we're going to go ahead and save it. And now we need to restart Home Assistant for our changes to take effect. So we'll do a uh, sudo system ctl restart uh, home assistant at adrian.service. Give that a second to come back up. And then lastly here, we're just going to show you what that looks like in action. So i got my web front end here, and down at the bottom you can see my input select that I have set up. It's currently set to default. Uh, it's kind of running off the page here, but we're going to just choose a different theme. Like there's solarized. As you can see, everything changed a different color. Let's go and choose a different one. Look, here's uh, midnight. It's kind of nice uh, gray and blue. That one's pretty nice. Uh, let's do dark red. It makes everything black and red. 
So pretty cool themes. Pretty easy to set up. Um, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, as you can see, uh, you know, just another way to customize your Home Assistant uh, a little bit and make it uh, your own. Uh, pick, you know, some colors that you might like or something that goes with the area of your house that you have it set up in or something like that. Uh, lots of possibilities there. Um, let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So, of course, we started out by just uh, creating our themes directory that we stored all our themes in. Uh, once we did that, we edited our uh, configuration.yaml file to point to that themes directory. Uh, once that was done, we went out there and I showed you where you could download themes. Uh, once all that was done, then of course we created our input select that we used uh, for selecting which theme we want. Uh, after that, we set up the automation that will kind of automate that process of uh, choosing the theme. And then of course, lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. And as always, if there are any videos out there that you'd like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something to put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.